For the gamers who love games, why wait for greatness? Xbox One is here. What's going on guys, Bryce360 here, for your gaming news and entertainment all around you. Today I'm going to talk about Sony fanboys. So, I actually was going to get into news about DirectX 12, may eventually do that, I have a pretty good presentation to bring across. But, for now, I just couldn't help, I was going through the news articles and looking at comment sections, and I really just can't believe how much fanboyism the Sony fanboys have. I, in the community, I always typically, you know, when people make rant videos, especially like pro Sony type, you know, YouTube channels, sure aren't that many, but there are some, um, you know, they tend to comment how Xbox people are fanboys. So I just felt like I should go through some of these posts. I thought some of them are kind of funny. So um, I'm going to start off by uh, this guy's name's John Doe, He's probably an anonymous user, but, uh, you know, um, just some of the stuff that you, come across with like pro Xbox news and just the responses and stuff. Um, so this guy says, yes, keep fighting, keep mimicking the PS4 and keep backtracking last minute after sales reports. Yes. Keep fighting. Or you could just learn when you, you've been humiliated and lost the trust of the majority of customers because of your lies and greedy practices. Then he goes on to say, how are facts hate? I almost shed a tear. How sad. Let go of the fanboyism. Microsoft doesn't care about you. Nobody killed the Xbox all-in-one vision because the Xbox One vision was really just a stupid idea that failed because it was stolen from Sony. Decades late. Okay, uh, this guy, I, I get like the fanboyism, but to be just completely stupid like i'm just going to use the word i don't usually use the word stupid but this guy is clearly just lost his mind uh for one decades late um if i recall uh xbox one um you know is pretty innovative um it would have gotten a lot farther and sony actually pulled drm last minute uh, a lot of people don't know that but they saw the hate that microsoft got from the drm policies um, they actually postponed their um, their showing at E3 um, to bring across the their their restructure their their presentation. So they pulled DRM uh, last minute, so they weren't going to do DRM. And then on top of that, they had the camera. They were actually going to have it bundled, but they removed that. And of course, the Sony fanboy is going to say, "No, no, no, they didn't do that." Um, you can read articles and find it all over, though. Um, and as far as like decades late, um, if I remember or recall, um, the Xbox, the original Xbox actually launched with, uh, an ethernet port. So that way you can do Xbox live. Xbox live is innovating. Sony actually wasn't on board with having online gaming. They had to add an adapter later because they realized how positive it was and how the Xbox community really kind of grabbed onto that. And gamers in general liked, uh, having online gaming. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't know what you guys think. Um, this guy seems to be a pretty big troll when it comes to that. Um, but here's another guy. His name's Mellow Butch. You just knew there had to be an exponer waiting to troll here. They can't stand it. And to be honest, I love that they can't stand it. They're looking at the most innovative expone game as Quantum Break knowing there is a 99.99% that is basically a Max Payne sequel, which Max Payne is a really good game, but it's nothing like Max Payne. Sure, it has some slowdown effects and stuff, but this game looks pretty cool. The most innovative game that will be released on Xbone between now and the end of 2016 will probably be Just Cause, and that will look and play better on PS4 so I get he's going from past experiences from multi-plats tending to run better on the PS4. But if you noticed Xbox One games, you know, sometimes the resolution is slightly lower than the uh, PS4. But a lot of the times the gameplay, the frames are actually running better. And does he really believe that the Xbox isn't going to run games very well? They're at least equal to the PS4 once DirectX 12 uh, comes into hand. 
Uh, the other thing is, this is actually directly towards Sony fanboys. Why do you feel the need to refer the console as an X-Bone? I guess the other question I want to ask the Sony fanboys is, what are you going to call the X-Bone once the X-Bone bones you? And you're probably wondering, well, what do you mean? Well, do you think that when DirectX 12 comes out, they start utilizing the games? Your games are going to look washed out and like shit? Well, the Xbox One is just going to look amazing, beautiful lighting, real-time graphics that are going to be so great that they can look like a movie. And you're like, oh, that'll never happen, right? But supposedly, you say that the Xbox isn't going to benefit from DirectX 12 because Phil Spencer said it wasn't going to, you know, benefit from that. Why would you not think that the Xbox One wouldn't benefit from DirectX 12? Answer me that. The Xbox One had DirectX 12 in mind. Everybody knows this. You can find every article on it. The Xbox GPU is built full integration for DirectX 12. That means it has dual lanes. It can communicate with seven cores at the same time, simultaneously. That Wardell guy, right? He said that when they utilize DirectX 12 properly, you can see a 3 to 500% boost in performance. 3 to 500%. Some, some places are referring to a 600% boost. You know, and then you're seeing like big guys going, like Phil Spencer, he says, oh, you'll see a 50% boost in CPU uh, bound games. But it was also mentioned that they say that because they need to make it believable. People won't believe 500%. It will never happen. Phil Spencer's playing it smart. People don't see this. They don't understand. Well, why would Phil Spencer say this? Why would you overhype something when you keep people's expectations and when they show and deliver the games? People are going to be just in awe. The Xbox One was built for the future. The PlayStation 4, I've heard this on many, many YouTube channels, is built with, like, off-the-shelf parts. People still don't understand the GPU of the Xbox One. Wait till GDC. Wait till 8.3. Wait till the games come out, and you will see the difference. People won't be talking about 900p. People will say, is this game a cinematic are you playing a cinematic? Is this a game that's real life? Or is it, you know, the actual game itself? Are you playing this game? It looks so real because we're at a stage now where they're able to take the lighting. Once they start utilizing DirectX 12 you and being able to use multiple light sources, I think they said you were using like one to four light sources right now. But imagine using thousands or more of light sources where it's bouncing off of different areas of the screen it makes you th believe that it's real it looks real it's not going to look like that fake crap they showed way back in, in the two what was it with the uh kill zone with playstation that fake video that cgi like thing that everyone's like oh this is the best thing in the world that's lying sony is showed nothing but lies to you guys, and you continue to just take it. I'll keep it clean. But you, you ponies, just go back to your stables, man. You take it just left and right. Sony's been lying to you from the beginning. You know, when we say Sony is broke, we're not joking. They are broke. They can't afford to pay their investors. They can't afford to be spending money on AAA exclusive titles. Hence, Indie Station 4. You know, you can call our Xbox the friggin' cable box or whatever you want to call it. It does everything. It's innovating. We're getting constant updates. I'm so excited when I see every, every day I check on my Xbox. I'm a preview member. I check for updates. Constantly. What's the new feature going to be? What are they going to show next? I want Windows 10. What's that going to be? When you look at the PlayStation, it's like, what is this thing? Nothing. You get an update and it's like a, like a fix. Like just a little fix or something. Some kind of firmware fix. 
keep talking 1080p. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.